on this episode of Trash Panda Off-Road, we leave our house at 4.15 in the morning to head out to Lapine, Oregon to catch up with the guys from Zuki World Online for a three-day overlanding adventure. We are currently in Lapine, Oregon. Uh, it took us about four and a half hours to get down here. Uh, we just got some more fuel. The rest of the group is over there waiting on us. Take care of the fuel, restroom stops, that kind of stuff. We'll go, get in line, and uh, figure out where the heck we're going to do today. Left Lapine after we got fuel, met up with everybody. Stopped here at uh, Christmas Valley, Oregon at their little city park. Got a small little caravan. A couple Suzuki's. That's a Suzuki truck up there. I think it's, I believe it's called the Equator. Um, GMC Canyon, that's the diesel one. Little Nissan Frontier, and then the X7, XL7. And then of course ours, the little itty bitty 1.6 liter eight valve does not like all the weight and three people, but we're doing okay So you guys remember actually you guys haven't seen it yet as it's all loaded up overland uh, Bound here. This is the bag the best top back bag We used that before I did get a set of roto packs um, You guys hopefully have seen on the channel that I built this mount uh, for the roto packs of course safety first and then we have the factory roof rack as well as a basket that we got from uh, Harbor Freight back when they had a sale and we're uh, we got a lot of good stuff going on here but the rig does not like the weight so fifth gear really non-existent but still doing right around 18 miles a gallon so not horrible and it looks like we're loaded up after lunch and we're gonna hits the road and I believe we're gonna start getting off into the would say woods but it's not really woods here so but we're gonna get off the pavement it's about a half hour outside of Christmas Valley turned off the road and we're heading up into the mountains ran this uh, rig in my own neighborhood. Oh well, all part of the adventure. Four cylinder in a group. Been cruising through the back country here for a couple hours, slow and steady, just enjoying the scenery. You know, the main reason we come down here and make the long drive from our place is just because we would never think to come down here by ourselves and get lost out here and end up being vulture food or something so it's nice to 
get out and see spots where you normally wouldn't. Go out, spend a little bit of time outdoors with people you don't see very often. Just enjoy nature and getting out, enjoying your rigs. You guys can pick this up on the camera or not but there's two cows up there that I think are gonna try to cross in front of us maybe not I don't know we'll see what happens when we go over this hill They go. Two cows are gonna cross in front of us. Maybe. No, now they're just gonna wander on down the road. Pick a side, cow. The babe spooked. <laughs> oh, you, you. As if I wasn't the slowest rig already. <laughs> now I gotta follow behind cow butt. Too cool. That is cool. Yeah, right? You probably did have your whole family in there. So you probably did put a whole family in there. All you needed was one room. I guess we're saying that this is part of the old Double O Ranch. I don't know my Oregon history, so I don't really know. Um, but there's this building here that we just walked through. And then on the other side, over here, there's like half a building and all, all the rigs.
It's beautiful out here. Cows everywhere though. Now this one's buried halfway down. Oh, that's cool. Now, after further discussion, we don't think this is part of the double O ranch. But we're gonna keep on trucking. We're not camping here. Still gonna go find us a spot. No, oh, not looking at the sun. There you go. We're driving through this patch here and uh, all the soil is white. You can see the lower and the upper. All the way over there. 